good evening students today we will study how to swap two numbers without using the odd variable now we will open a new file from the menu and we will give the name to this file as swap dot c is already there so i want to override it so click this to clear the header files on the top as include stdio dot h the other header file is hash include co and io dot h and is consumed to dot dot h then start the main program by writing void void main open the curly parentheses here in this program we want to swap two numbers without using third variable it means we need only two variables so i declare the variables a and b of integer type and then use clear screen function to clear the screen after that take the values from the user whenever we take the values we always prompt the message to the user that print up with the help of print up segment we will prompt the message to the user enter any two numbers then using scanf we need to read two integer numbers so we need two percentage d and we'll store at the address of variable a comma and the address of variable b so we got the input set then we need three processing line logic to swap two numbers without using third variable a equal to a plus b so then second line is b equal to a minus b and then again a equal to a minus b so we study and understand the logic behind this three lines to swap two numbers say so i enter a value as 10 here and b value as 20 by the first line in the processing logic that is a equal to a plus b a value becomes 10 plus 20 which goes to 30 plus then the next line b equals to a minus b here a value is current value is 30 minus the value of b is 20 and it goes to total goes to 10 in the next line Where we have a equal to a minus b. Here, the current value of a is 30, whereas the current value of b is 10. Equals to, and the total goes to 20. If you see here, in this line, b value becomes 10, whereas a value becomes 20. The current values of a and b. Just focus on the current values of a and b variable. Well, variable a value is 20, whereas variable b value is 10. And check the input that we have taken from the user. Say a is 20 and b is sorry a is 10 and b is 20. After this processing logic, a becomes 20 and b becomes. It means the numbers are swapped. Well, the that numbers are swapped. So at last we'll write uh, the printer statement to print the output on the screen that. After swapping, a equal to percentage d space, or you can say on next line, nation b equal to percentage d, and which is stored right now in the variable c n. So you can also add one more line here before processing uh, the swapping logic. 
you can print the original values of the variable a and b you can say before stopping just print the values of variable a and b which is actually sold in original variable a comma b here it means we take the input from the user and then we printed original values of variable a and b we processed the e logic here with the help of this three line this is called as processing part of this program and at last this statement is basically used printf statement is used to display output on the screen so it is output so we call all the three parts of this program that is input process and output now we'll stop this program with the help of get ch and at last close the program with the help of closing back it means the coding part is done now our next job is to compile and run this program how to compile it just go to compile tab and just click on compile this shows that there are no errors in, in the program then you go to run menu to run the program click on run the compiler is asking two numbers enter any two numbers say 10 space 20 you enter two numbers click just press the button enter Check the output. Before swap, swapping, a equal to 10, b equal to 20, and after swapping, a equal to 20 and b equal to 10. It means the value is this. Swap. So we achieve the swapping of two numbers without using card variables. So thank you for watching the video.